Under my direction, the New York National Guard will deploy an additional 150 members to support the asylum seeker mission. That brings our total to 2,200 National Guard members supporting the overall mission. You're going to need more than that. Democratic New York Governor Hochul sending more National Guard troops to help an overwhelmed New York City deal with the growing migrant crisis. South Dakota Governor Christy Noem just returned from the southern border for a briefing with the National Guard troops. She deployed. She joins us now with an inside look. Governor Noem, um, what should concern Americans the most about the southern border right now? that their backyard could look exactly like New York City uh, in the coming days. Uh, these folks are crossing the border by the thousands every single day. Uh, the federal policies are allowing it to happen. They're not turning them around, and it's an inhumane situation for those individuals, but when they get to our communities, there's no way to support them and help them be successful pursuing the American dream. This is a failure that Joe Biden is perpetuating, and uh, what the governor of New York is going through is what every single governor is going to be going through in the com coming days, and it's time to address this crisis now. You know, Governor, we saw some interesting photos. We, we saw the parents allowing their kids to be cut up uh, as they were going through the ways of wire. But we also saw the Border Patrol being ordered by the Biden administration to cut that wire down. Now, they didn't place it there. The state of Texas paid for that. Uh, what do you think the governor of Texas needs to do more to send a message to the Biden administration that this just can't be tolerated? Well, his hands are tied. They are sending and spending billions of dollars to the border to secure it as a state of Texas. And there's 14 other governors that are sending help. I was with my National Guard troops down there yesterday in Eagle Pass, and their stories were powerful. They talked about how they encountered a group of 400 individuals that crossed the river, came to the fence line and to the concertina wire, and that they tried to turn them around. 60 turned around and went back, but the rest ended up coming up and walking through that wire. They have no authority, no rules of engagement that allows them to stop these individuals. And when they needed Border Patrol's help, Border Patrol turned around and walked away so that they wouldn't be on camera helping to facilitate these individuals crossing that border. So that's what I think is interesting, is that Border Patrol knows that they can't stop them according to what the president is ordering them to do, and they're purposely avoiding TV cameras so they're not held accountable to these policies that are undermining our country. Well, of course they were. What's the end goal here from Democrats now? I mean, because they're already giving them visas. What's the next amnesty? Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're fundamentally remaking this country. Uh, and that's that's what you see down there. This is an invasion of our country, and they want this to happen so that they can continue to perpetuate their agenda into individuals that are just happy to be here. So that's the interesting thing as well. There's many dangerous individuals coming. Uh, there's no plan to keep our national security a top priority, uh, and this is on purpose. That's the one thing that my National Guard troops are frustrated with. They're willing to serve their country. They're putting their lives on the line to protect us, but they're trying to figure out the whole purpose for what is going on here and why the federal government is allowing this to happen. When you look at it, they all clearly agree uh, that the only person, the only people who can fix this situation is the federal government, is the White House. Joe Biden could snap his fingers tomorrow and our country could be secure again. Uh, this is on purpose and that's what's so frustrating for all of us. Yeah. The only snapping he did was on day one, remove and remain in Mexico, uh, making sure that the border wall fencing stopped. Um, you got to know this is intentional. Uh, Governor, uh, mm -hmm. thanks so much for joining the program. Thank you, Lawrence. You have a wonderful day. Me Eat too, a pancake. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.